the rapid distribution of essential goods is a major challenge in many emerging economies due to the lack of transport infrastructure. However, a proven technology can help to alleviate the problem – drones. These unmanned micro-aircraft can fly medicine and other time-critical cargo to places that are difficult to reach by other means. The Norman Foster Foundation, established by world-renowned architect Norman Foster, developed the drone port to realize this idea – a construction system for drone hubs that has a wide range of applications. A prototype of a drone port shell, a handling facility for remote-controlled drones, is on display at the 15th International Architecture Exhibition in Venice. The drone port is a convergence of a building technology and the new technology of drones, but using those not for military purposes, but for humanitarian, delivering cargo, medical supplies. This project's exciting for us because it combines ancient technologies, in this case thin tile vaulting and masonry, with exciting new technologies, complex geometries, which work in compression only, so advanced engineering to make it possible to use humble local materials. The prototype drone port shell at the Venice Biennale brought together professors and students from five universities across Europe and North America. The Lafarge Holsom Research Center in Lyon customized DuraBrick for the project by developing a low-carbon earth-based product that is smaller than conventional bricks but delivers the lateral strength required in vaulted structures. The Lafarge Holsom Foundation for Sustainable Construction sponsored the realization of the drone port pavilion at the Biennale. Lafarge Holsom, the world leader in the building materials industry, produces and promotes DuraBrick and provides equipment and technical training for on-site production. This innovative product responds to the challenge of delivering affordable, locally produced building materials for homes and infrastructure in developing countries. Lafarge Holsom also supplies DuraBrick from industrial production and provided 18,000 of the newly developed bricks for the drone port prototype. The brick is one of civilization's oldest building materials and here we have compressed earth, almost like an adobe brick which is sun-baked. Here we add 8% cement which gives us greater durability and longevity. These can be fabricated locally almost anywhere in the world. For the drone port prototype here at the Venice Biennale, we worked with the Lafarge Wholesome Research Center in Lyon to develop a thinner brick which could be used to make a masonry vault. And this technique allows us to build with no reinforcing at low cost with local materials. The research center helped us meet the specifications of the size of the brick. And we're gonna to continue to push this further in thinking about size and mix design to really develop it for the local communities. I mean, it's extremely thin, so it's doing you know, more with less. But the contribution of the research center is what we normally do with customers. We, we listen to the needs of the design engineers to achieve this, and we adapt our products to meet those needs. So the conventional bricks that we produce in Africa are thicker, and shorter. Actually, to build, uh, to build those bricks that you have for this project, we need to modify the material because we need to produce something that was thinner and slightly larger. So we need to work a bit with the composition of the materials, but we could use the same principles and actually is giving us knowledge if we want to extend the range of products that we can offer to our customers in Africa. That's a great uh, set of learnings that we obtain for this wonderful project. So working with DuraBrick was really, it was, it was nice because it was a challenge. It was pushing some, like taking something and bringing it to another level. And so using this brick and like having, like feeling the earth in your hand is actually something that not, you don't have every day. You, usually you have this like very industrialized product that you actually don't feel anymore where it's coming from. But here having the soil in your hand and applying it on the geometry is just something, a special feeling that you actually can get out of this. Well, the idea with DuraBrick is a fantastic opportunity and there's tremendous innovative uh, branches off and the way we developed DuraBrick already at the beginning was working with customers. And 
finding new innovations and new customers to work with to further develop Durabrick is exactly what we're all about. Durabrick has a tremendous opportunity to replace clay-based uh, bricks, which are environmentally uh, devastating many parts of the world as trees get cut down to fuel very environmentally unattractive uh, clay uh, kilns, and we can replace that with an earth-based product uh, to build almost anything. And uh, the drone port is a perfect example of that, but you look at that and you can see many other things that we can build. What I like about the drone port is that it shows that uh, Durabrick can build a very sophisticated uh, structure. If we can build a very sophisticated structure with Durabrick, we can build anything. And it's especially uh, right for any type of housing throughout Africa.